If only a few people remember that Dream Near cards actually exist in the game and that these cards are actually worth something. Did you guys smash the evolution crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more on this content? How many of you remember Dream Near cards existing? Not a lot of people? Well, what's very interesting about this is Dream Near cards as a whole might not, you know, they might not seem like crazy interesting things here, but you know, these are three to four dollars for ultra rares. Wait a minute, Robbie, you're, you're telling me an ultra rare from Rising Rampage for Dream Near is money? Yeah, you can hear you can hear the Dream World outside. The Thunder is doing its thing. Um, now Morpheus here, it's only like two to three dollars. Like this isn't crazy, but like um, when you kind of get down to it, uh, when you think about Dream Near cards actually, you know, kind of being worth something. I think it's just these two, yeah. The rest of the Dream Near stuff, not really worth anything. But I mean, once again, let's think about the cost of the deck here. Okay, so if I got to spend, we'll go $9 and then $12. So that's 21 The rest of the deck, $25 for a deck core. For, you know, this, I understand that that, uh, that might not seem too enticing. But I mean, any time a deck core kind of comes into like the 10 to 20 plus dollar range i would still consider this to be somewhat budget so i just wanted to point out that you know after all of this time i know the dream mirror stuff didn't get reprints but they're not the most populated cards on the market and that's kind of interesting volcanic counters so we are heading on in to the fire duels pack wait people knew people don't know that oh well hey Good news for you here. If you uh, if you're ready for the Pyro Duels pack coming out, literally August I think 11th or something like that. Reveal should be coming up this week. Congratulations because most people forgot about this. I, I don't blame you at this point, but because of that, Volcanics are uh, they're kind of doing their thing here. Um, obviously, like this is only three to four dollars. This isn't crazy uh, counters in the other categories. The the stupid onslaught of the Fire King one is two dollars. For a common from the structure deck, okay? So keep a little bit of an eye on this. People, you gotta love the fact that people are like, ooh, Volcanics, I like what I'm seeing here, you know? Maybe uh, maybe this could be a tier one deck. I, I don't think so, but you know, people are gonna try to cheese up whatever interesting little things that they can. On your mark, get set, duel, collector's rares. You know? Um, back way a while back, you could have bought these at uh, $22, sub $22. I feel like $22 was their uh, was their real low point here 30, 31, 35, and uh, they're going up. But uh, what, what makes this uh, so activation? Hey, on activation, you control another card, you can add any synchro monster from your deck to your hand. Then once returned during your standby phase, place a signal counter on this card and remove two signal counters from this card, send them to the graveyard, draw two cards, and send one card from your hand to the graveyard. We don't, we don't care about that. This searches any Synchron in our deck as long as we control no other cards. Now, I mean, yeah, it is, it is an Ash target. Yeah, I understand that, you know, it might not have crazy application out here, but it's a Synchron Searcher. Do with that info what you will. It's very interesting how they restrict it on the uh, you can uh, control no other cards. But you know what? Interesting little pickups out here. Little interesting things ramping up out here. Maze of Memories has been, uh, we've already seen the Elemental Hero creep it up in value. Baron's still up there. 120s on these. 55s for collector's rare, so it feels down. Baron's still at 50s, okay. Excel's 45s, Guardian Chimera's 40s, Solemn Judgment's under 40. Teardrops, how do you have a damaged one? Sub $20 or sub $30 now for the Evermax. That's hilarious. So much has fallen back here. 28s, oh, well, there's our value card here. You gotta love to see that. Black Luster Soldier, Stupid Key Guardian's still $25. I guess Dual Academy's twelve dollars. I feel bad if you pulled that as your collector's rare. And these are thirteen bucks now. Even guard, woo, guarding chimeras are going up. Hey, 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 guarding chimeras are uh, twelve bucks, and the smoke fates are under ten dollars. Wow, that's disgusting. The set has had some pretty bad uh, hiccups, but it's also had some like actual good happening. And of course, Song Judgment's being three to four bucks as per usual. Happens every single time. 
I'm not surprised. Snake's rain. Hey, should you pick up snake's rain? Hey, 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 hey. As my chair squeaks and as the thunder goes outside. Oh, wait. There's no more thunder right now. As the uh, as the elements combine, should you pick up snake's rain for 40 bucks? Um, every time I look at this card, I'm like, this card's just a walking, talking time bomb. And, you know, we did get the, the new round of support for this. It's still sitting at 40 bucks. See, somebody paid 45s for some of these. 44, 45, and they continue to go up. I mean, with the Odotic stuff, it is what it is. It's it's always going to be a giant ash target. I feel bad if this card gets ashed. Purely cards. Oh, man. How? <laughs> what is this? Every every week, there's like, oh, boy, Purely got bought out again, and then repopulates a little bit. Oh, boy, Purely got bought out again. Repopulates. Oh, boy, Purely got bought out. It's the same cycle we've been having on these stupid collector's rares, and it just doesn't stop. Uh, $120 on the collector's rare purelys. My friend purelys at 75s. The purely pretty memories, 82s. Congratulations, purely, pure lilies are got, getting bought out. These are $82 now. These were nothing. These, these were so cheap. You know, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. $32 for the cat. 22 to 23 for my friend Purely's and Pretty Memories, 24 bucks. Yikes. And then the OTS pack buyouts. What? What else is happening back here in the world of this? Let me guess. Thruster completely. Oh! Okay, cool. Well, awesome. $75 in the brand infusions. The lilies are 80s. <laughs> and then you dump on down here, brand of losses, $3. Okay. Sure. You can tell the cards that people wanted in this set. Wow. That's it? Buy OTS buyouts are actually crazy. Okay, sure. I can't believe this. 150. Yikes. Uh, soundproofed. I mean, we've talked about this card. You uh, you want no synchro summoning allowed? No fun synchro summon! No! I will not let you synchro summon. No. No. Neither player can synchro summon until the end of the opponent's next turn. Just... Get you an entire turn to blink your opponent. I mean, if your opponent's not actually playing, you know, anything relevant, then, like, this card does get you some value. Or, I mean, if they're playing Synchro. But, like, you'd have to side counter pick this in for this to actually matter. And I, I feel like it's it's not really worth it at the end of the day. Uh, D Synchro. Huh. You know, 36 listings. It feels low. 81 for the common. 58 for the super rare. Uh, the rares. 25 cents. Super is from Hidden Summoners, also 30 cents, okay, and then the OTS ones. Hmm. It's got some decent value. Do you know that Summon Skull from the 25th Amenorators MR English Edition? 22, 25, 36. Um, you guys see a problem here? Where are all the Summon Skulls at? Where where did these things go? They're, uh, they just poofed, and I don't know why, I don't know how uh, this has happened, but uh, I just wanted to point out here that, uh, yeah, when you see Summon Skull actually disappearing off of the market, you kind of question a couple of things, but I don't know, this is just one of those things that you look at and you're like, strange, but okay. E Emergency Call from Raw Yellow Mega Pack. 13 bucks, $25 and $25. Um, that's expensive. Considering the fact that these were like nothing, like forever ago, and all of a sudden, you know, these creeped up to $45, $46. I'm actually genuinely impressed with how the market has turned this card over and said, hey, hey, let's keep it up. A Romage card, um, you know, seven bucks. Um, Jasmine's, I mean, the cheap reprints exist. Mary's, honestly, the Romage core minus you know, the the more expensive part of the deck, which is, you know, good old Jasmine out here. The aromatherapy. Oh, okay. A little aromatherapy. 13 bucks. Actually, these are starting to spin down a little bit. This is actually pretty nice, actually. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of happy to see that we're losing a little bit of value on this. It makes it a little bit more inviting for players to want to get the chance to pick them up. So that's where we're sitting right now. Between the OTS buyouts and all of the other extremely interesting things that have been happening. Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. Uh
<laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.